Doing all that heavy lifting in the warehouse was way too much for me. So now I'm gonna go head out and tour a potential home for Bessie. She's outgrown her current tank. After meeting Evelyn, who's cared for Bessie for the last six years, I know how special this shark is. The challenge will be not just to find a new home for her, but to find a home that is safe, comfortable, and a good fit. I'm starting at the best place I know, the Miami Sea Aquarium. Trevor, man, nice to see you again. Hey, how are you? I'm all right. I understand that you guys have a shark you're looking for a new home for. Exactly. You know, we have this six-foot-long nurse shark. It's in a 12-foot diameter, 5,000-gallon cylinder tank. And it's getting a little bit too big for, for its home. Trevor's showing me the shark exhibit, which receives fresh seawater directly from Biscayne Bay. Trevor, this is the ultimate nurse shark palace. Absolutely. I mean... Our shark channel here at the Miami Sea Aquarium is over 750,000 gallons of naturally filtered seawater. It averages approximately 20 feet in width and over six feet in depth. This would be an ideal home for Bessie. The beautiful thing about having a shark like this in a large public aquarium is they're gonna reach their full growth potential. Now, let's not make anybody in particular jealous. We're okay. gonna spread the food out a little bit now. Okay. There you go. Gonna make them work for it. All right, beautiful. I've got a lot of concerns, obviously, from going from a synthetic seawater aquarium to our natural Definitely. exhibit area. We have over 25 animals that are, we, we call part of our family here. So we want to make absolutely certain that that shark is going to blend in and uh, do well once it gets here. 